Hello and welcome to this latest video in the Tableau for Sports series. This one we're not going to build any charts necessarily, this time we're going to look at unioning and joining files. So a big reason to use Tableau is to improve efficiency, it's not necessarily just to get an end result of a, of a nice chart. Uh, a big reason why I bought Tableau was because it could speed up the process of merging files, joining files, that kind of stuff. So we'll just discuss what the difference is between these two things. So just to lay out a little bit of what we're looking at. So I have some dummy data. Here, you can see I've got six test sessions. So again, these are just made up fitness data, but it could be GPS data, could be match events, anything like that. And they're in six different files, obviously, because we've run them at different times during the year. Again, very common, if you imagine you've coded your game, you export a file, you have multiple different files for multiple different games. A lot of people I see try and create this into one big master file and there's a lot of copying and pasting going on. You can really just let Tableau do that. So Tableau is going to merge these files together, these six fitness tests and any future tests we might do. And then it's going to join on the player positions and the age. So in my filing system here, I have, let me just show you the, the raw data. Okay, so we've got some fitness tests again that's completely made up uh, you know some scores next to a player but I also have in a separate file is I have other information about these players okay so you can see here that I have the player name and I have what position they play and I also have what age they, they are so I can kind of relate this and say well not just what's their score in a test or what's their high intensity runs why well, how does that compare in their position example okay so I want to be able to join this on and again you know you get a lot of people who copy and paste this put it into an Excel document and then try and do some sort of VLOOKUP or that kind of stuff and, and then to update that becomes a bit of a headache so here I'm very happy that I'm going to keep my single fitness test in each of their respective files I'm going to store this biographical information here and it makes it easier to add something on and I'll show you that now in a second we'll be able to add additional fields on here and it just gets brought into our data. Okay, so that's what we want to cover. So let's jump into Tableau and let's go and connect to the data. Okay, so in my case, sessions. Okay, so I'm going to open session one and this is all you have to do connect to the first file. It's brought in the data as we can see here. If we come in here and I put this count on here it'll show us how many rows we have so there's 26 rows in that data set okay so if I go back to the data source what I want to do is I want to convert this into a union and a union is imagine stacking files one on top of the other okay so I have another file that has the same keywords here the same column headings here and I just want to stack it underneath so it's almost going to create that master file for us okay so convert to union I'm going to make it a wildcard union. Okay, so what it's going to do is going to look in my folder here. It's telling me what folder it's looking in. And it's going to look for any workbooks that have this text here. Okay, now what all I need to do is just say, let's just put an asterisk in there. So it's going to look for any file that's called test session. The asterisk means it doesn't care what the number is or what comes after that. So if any characters come after test session, it's going to get updated and used again in this workbook. Okay, so imagine you do another test tomorrow, number seven, the day after, number eight, number nine. All you need to do is just put that new file into the folder and Tableau will pick it up. Okay, so that's the first part. So let's click OK to that. And now if we go to sheet one, you'll see here now I have 156 records in here. Okay, so that's the six different ones. And if you're unsure, what Tableau does when it does a union, it creates these two additional columns, one called path, one called sheet. So that's the sheet name it's coming from. So in that case, it's all the same, but the path here is gonna tell me which session this was. So if I bring path out onto the columns, and let's just make this entire view, you can see session one, session two, session three, session four, and so on. Okay, so it generates that for you from the name of the file. So whatever I've called the file gets pulled in here. Okay, 
So let's just have a look at something really quick. Let's say I want the player. Uh, let's take one of the tests. Let's just say it's sleep and let's put the date up there. Okay, let's make it a uh, exact date and discrete. Okay, so there's the mood scores for the various different players across their six or seven tests. Okay, let me throw that onto color to give it a little bit more. Okay, now I want to break these players into the positions. So I'd like to group, you know, goalkeepers, midfielders, defenders, whatever it is, together to see if there's any maybe pattern in there or just to be able to, to look at it across that. That isn't in the original data anywhere. So now what I want to do is be able to add that in. So it's in my other file. So it's in my Excel file here. I have the player name, I have the position they played, and I also have their age, okay? Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this in Tableau. Uh, if you're using a newer version of Tableau, it'll be something called relationships. If you're using an older version, it will be a join and it'll, it'll look slightly different, okay? So first of all, I need to add in that second data source. Okay, so go to Excel, I'm gonna add in a new data source, okay? So we can see here, this is our age and dates, okay? Now I'm gonna do it the old way just to start. So I do that by just double clicking here on the union sheets. And I'm gonna drag in the sheet one, which comes from the player positions and age. And Tableau gives me these two circles, okay? So this is what is known as a join. So I'm joining on the data, okay? And although in this case, it looks like it's worked, what you need to do is specify what from data set A matches what from data set B, okay? So in our case, we're joining off the player name, okay? So any time it finds the same player name, it brings it in. So see, Angela finds a match. So you can see this orange, these first three orange bars here come from the orange data set and the blue comes from the blue. And we've got a name, a position and an age matched to the players. And that will go the whole way down. Okay, so that's what's known as an inner join. See these two circles? It's only matching what is what is matched. Okay, so it's only bringing back what is matched. But I actually know there's a few players that we have fitness test results for, but we don't have the, the age or the position information, okay? So what I need to do is in that case, I make it a left join. And what a left join does is it brings back everything from the left-hand side and any matches it finds. Okay, and you can see there's different types of joins depending on what you need. I find it in the majority of cases, it's either a left or an inner that you need but again, depending on the use case, all right? So in my case, I'm looking at a left join here. And what we should find is as I scroll down is you find there's a couple of players here who have null information from the other table, okay? So with an inner join, we would lose these fitness tests. There would be no match found and they therefore wouldn't be returned. With a left join, what we're saying is give me all of the fitness testing information regardless of finding a match or not, okay? So there are choices you make when you do um, when you do the join. Okay, so let me just remove that for a second. And I'm gonna go back in the new way in Tableau, okay? You drag this out, you get this kind of noodle arm here. And you do something very similar. So you still edit what's known as a relationship, okay? So you still say player is equal to player. The difference is that the, the join as such happens when you build a sheet, okay? It's not really worth getting into too much now. You can definitely dig into it a little bit more. It acts in a similar way to a join, not, not quite identical, um, but in a similar way. You still need to specify a column from one sheet matching a column from the other, okay? So let's go back to our results here. And what I should be able to do now is on the left-hand side, you'll see from my new sheet here, I have position, so let's group these by position. So there's four players who don't have a position, which means they weren't in that player position and age file. And then here's the others. Okay, and you can kind of resort them then into whatever 
whatever way you want. Okay. The big advantage of this method is, suppose I wanted to add something new into the data. I have one place that I need to add this in. Okay, so let's say it's a previous club. Okay, and I'm just going to say United and Rovers. Let's just imagine they've all come from one of those two. Okay, what I can do is just save that file. And back in Tableau, if I refresh this data source, previous club appears in the list here and then we could have a look and say well let's see who came from Rovers who came from United and that's been joined now onto the six fitness tests okay so you can see here it's joined on to each and every fitness test so if we wanted to filter for just one of these tests I still get the previous club of that player okay so it's a much more efficient way to kind of manage your data is to almost keep the different files for the different parts of the information and let Tableau do the work of bringing that all together. It makes it much, much easier to manage. Okay, thank you very much.